I'm so deathly afraid of getting pretty as I grow older. <gasps> pretty? <laughs> Hey everybody, gay here, sup bitches, um, and gay today is turning, uh, into Oprah, cause I am Skyping in my super uber awesome cousin Tim Trahant from West Arlington, Virginia, oh wait, Richmond, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, so hi to gay today, Tim. Hello gay today. And I just wanna get this out of the way, you gotta legalize gay everybody. Nobody likes an illegal gay, my pants are falling down. So we have to do gay today in under six minutes, so I'm gonna set the timer. When the timer's up, we're just stopping. Okay? Oops. So, it's timer set for five minutes, because we've already talked a minute. Let us go. Okay, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, I posted a video on Facebook today, um, from a clip from a movie called Harriet Craig, starring Joan Crawford and Ellen Corby. And I was reading the comments under the clip from that movie about how, screw Joan Crawford, because she was mommy dearest and she was an abusive mother. Might I remind all of you out there that Joan Crawford was dead by the time Mommy Dearest was put out and made into that movie, which I gotta say I love the movie because it's pure camp. But Joan Crawford was not alive to defend herself, much like the way when B.D. Hyman wrote that book, My Mother's Keeper, about her mother, Betty Davis. We'll discuss this in a minute. Um about her mother and said all these awful things. Betty Davis was scheduled to die and she didn't and was able to make the talk show circuit and defend her name against the atrocities her daughter wrote. Something Joan Crawford could not do. So shame on all of you who actually believe that Mommy Dearest was the real Joan Crawford. Just, just for the record, Cynthia, Cindy, or what's her name? Christina Crawford. I can't even say her name right because she gets me so flustered. Goes around today and does public talks about how wonderful her mother is. Now, now she does it. After she wrote that atrocious book. Don't you think that book is atrocious, atrocious, Tim? It was horrible. Thank you. Horrible, atrocious. It is. It's That's awful, Tim. Drink. Just for you know, just for you all, just, I can't talk. I don't know what the hell just happened to me right now, but my mouth is tripping over my teeth. My mouth is tripping, my tongue. I don't know. I don't care. This is the way it's going to go. I like grape Kool-Aid. Legalize gay. Legalize gay. Tim said something earlier tonight. We have three minutes. Tim, tell them what you said that threw me off, and I'll tell you, it explains why I can't talk well. I do not know who Joan Crawford is. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> he uttered these words about 15 minutes ago. He had no idea who... There are, you, you, yeah, you should be sorry. It's Joan Crawford. Birth name, Lucille Lassure. Uh, well, I'm starting to really hyperventilate because you don't know who Joan Crawford is. It's Joan Crawford, Academy Award winner, Best Actress 1945, for the brilliant movie Mildred Pierce, which I'm sure you've seen, right? No. Yeah, I've seen it. Wait, wait, what? You've seen Mildred Pierce? Are you li you're lying. You're lying, because you don't know who... See, liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm not the only flamer in the room right now. Ha! Huh? That was funny. That was funny. More purple drink. That's right. Tim doesn't know Joan Crawford. I don't blame. The straights aren't really up on the whole Joan Crawford thing. I have two minutes left. So, um, I want to tell you... That she's bad or the movie's bad. I'm just saying I haven't seen them. And I don't know who she is. Uh, yeah, but how do you not know who Joan? Do you know who Betty Davis is? I'm spitting. How rude. I don't know who Betty Davis is. Okay, so you know who Betty Davis is. Have you ever seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? No. <laughs> You've never seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? But you are, Blanche. You are. But you are, Blanche. You are. Chair. And she serves her the rat on the platter, and then Betty Davis kicks Joan Crawford really hard. I've written a letter to Daddy. I've written a letter to Daddy. Oh my god. Sincerely, it's like 92 degrees outside, and my body temperature is like 109. 
He never doesn't know Joan Crawford, and he's never seen whatever happened to Baby Jane. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? Oh my God. I can't even talk about my other topics today about like why we use animals for rude things like you dirty pig, you lie like a dog, face like a horse. Remind me, we'll talk about that later with Tim because we're about to run out of time. Yeah. I it's totally destroyed Mike's entire afternoon. My whole day is ruined. Tim, oh, oh, time's out. Time's out, Tim. Uh, if you, Tim's gonna have the honors. Just say it, Tim. Gaze out. Thank you. Gaze out. George also makes me just as fishy as you not knowing who Joan Crawford is. I can't even look at you right now, Tim. Okay. You've never seen Mildred Pierce, one of the best movies ever? Legalized gay. How do you go through life not knowing Mildred Pierce or Joan Crawford? No wire hangers ever! Okay, I told you I don't know who she is. Oh my god. What? Oh, thank God. He knows what Sex of the City is. You may have the honors. Say it. Who's Joan Crawford? Shut up! Gay is out!